Hey there, Bob Sapp here. Hey there. The purpose of this video is to outline the key steps when installing metal flashing at a seal condition of a window opening. It's important to recognize that as the window system installer, it is your duty to maintain the integrity of the building envelope in and through the window opening by aligning with the design intent and the building materials as established by the project design team. This is accomplished by placing sealants in the correct location and your ability to handle transitions from one surface or plane to another while maintaining continuity of the critical seals throughout the installation process. In other words, you are responsible to connect all the dots. Ideally, the bed sealant should be in the same plane as the primary perimeter sealant of the window system, but sometimes that's not the case, as in this example. The bed of sealant under the aluminum flashing illustrated in green, applied to the air and water barrier, illustrated in blue, is one and a quarter inches behind the plane of the exterior perimeter sealants, highlighted in yellow. By notching the ends of the aluminum flashing in plane with the line of the flashing bed seal allows the sealant to ooze from underneath the flashing so it can be tooled consistently on top to the adjacent substrate and extend out to the same plane of the primary sealant joint at the perimeter of the window frame. This is where the sealants will make contact and marry together and finally connect the dots. Piece of cake, right? Let's go do one. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Clean and prepare your opening. Dry fit flashing to confirm sizing and continuity hole placement. Quarter inch by quarter inch hole works great. During the dry fit process, place the sill member of the window system in the opening so you can see the offset between where the bed seal and continuity notch live versus the plane of the perimeter sealant joint of the window system. This is also a good time to determine the slope of the flashing. Sill flashings at window openings should never have negative slope or slope back to the window system. Flashing should always have positive slope or slope away from the window system. When applying the sealant bed, directly apply on top of the air and water barrier. Use a generous amount of sealant. Make sure to run the sealant along the jam and tie it into the bed sealant. Place the flashing into the opening and onto the bed sealant. With firm hand pressure, work the flashing back and forth slightly until consistent contact is made with the sealant and it has oozed out through the continuity holes on the ends. Confirm placement, then double check for positive slope. Fasten in place. Tool the sealant that has oozed through the continuity hole consistently and smoothly. That completes the installation of the seal flashing, however, does not complete the detail until the window frame is installed and the perimeters are caulked. And there you have it. This is the final step to connect all those dots. Take that turn, push it in. Nice. That's how I would do it too. Mine would look just a little bit better.